or at best do something to his brain and make him retarded as his cousin Ronnie, who didn't have enough sense to get in out of the rain and might hesitate in a hailstorm. My grandma, the nasty old bag, who fortunately is dead now, claimed daddy has what she called the sight. She said he was gifted and could see the future some. I reckon if that was so, he'd have thought ahead enough not to get drunk when he was handling explosives and got his fingers blown off. And I had never seen that much sympathy from him concerning colored folks, so I didn't buy his excuse for not cranking the phone. He didn't like my friend Jean Smith, who was colored, and he tried to make out we was better than her and her family, even though they had a small but clean house, and we had a large, dirty house with a sagging porch, and the chimney propped up on one side with a two-by-four, and there were a couple of hogs walling out holes in the yard. As for his cousin Ronnie, I don't think Daddy cared for him one way or the other, and he often made fun of him and imitated him by pretending to bang into walls and slobber about. Of course, when he was good and drunk, this wasn't an imitation, just a similarity. <laughs> then again, maybe Daddy could see the future, but was just too stupid to do anything about it. Anyway, Daddy had these toe sacks, about ten of them, and he and Uncle Gene had them full of green walnuts and some rocks to heavy them up, and they had them fastened on ropes and thrown out in the water, the ropes tied off to roots and trees on the shore. Me and my friend Terry Thomas had gone down there to watching help because we didn't have nothing else we wanted to do. Terry didn't want to go when I told him what I wanted to do and where we were going and what I wanted him there with me. But he broke down finally and went and helped me toss bags and pull up fish. He was real nervous about the whole thing because he didn't like either my daddy or my uncle. I didn't like him either, but I liked being outside doing things that men do, though I think I would have been more happy with a line and a hook than a bag of walnut poison. Still, I like the river and the outdoors better than I like being at the house with a mop in my hand. My grandma on daddy's side always said I didn't act like a girl at all and I ought to stay home learning how to keep a garden and shell peas and do women's work. Grandma would lean forward in her rocker, look at me with no love in her gooey eyes and say, So, Evan, how you gonna get a husband when you can't cook or clean worth a flip and don't never do your hair up? Of course, she wasn't being fair. I'd already been doing woman's work for as long as I could remember. I just wasn't no good at it. And if you've ever done 